You heard about steaks giving. Some people are passing on the turkey to give thanks. And instead, having a juicy steak, we have James, Chef James here, as well as Brad, the general manager of Morton's Grill. And they're going to talk about steaks giving. You guys, what is this all about? Well, you know, traditionally, obviously, everybody's usually doing turkey sure. on Thanksgiving, you yeah. know, but uh, there's nothing like a good steak at Thanksgiving. Oh, that's I'm for certain. You, you know, anytime. we've got uh, some different cuts of uh, our steaks that we have in here, our prime selections that we've got. Um, we've obviously got our prime. Uh, Bone in Kansas City strip right here, mm. our bone in, or our ribeye right here, and then we've got our uh, fillet. James is going to prepare mm. um, probably the fillet and do a uh. nice sear in the skillet on the James, stove here. Let's get started. Let's well, not delay game here. Well, what, let's get uh, started. What do we do? Um, first, we take a little bit of olive oil. Uh huh. Heat it in a very hot skillet. Mm hmm. Just enough to. It's been heating while we've been waiting here. Absolutely. So it should be ready to go. Want to take a little bit of seasoning. This here is our Morton seasoning. Oh, so is Want that a secret or what is in it? It is. It is oh. a secret. This is a Morton special blend here. <laughs> so. But if we're at home, what do we season it with? What do you suggest? Uh, you can season it with salt and pepper. You can season it with, um, you know, a little uh, seasoning salt. But generally just kosher salt, okay. a little black pepper. Okay. Oh, so, now here we go. So you let the skillet get nice and hot. You should get a nice sear on it. Ooh, you should hear a nice sizzle, sizzle to it. Sizzle is going right. really good. About how many steaks do you guys do in a day? Oh. Wow. Oh, we may do <laughs> maybe 60, 70. Oh, my goodness. Anywhere. And on a busy day, maybe 100. Even. Ooh, wow. So. And so, Brad, people are coming in saying, are you going to still have, you know, are you going to have some turkey? At yeah, that they're, they're calling, you know, yeah. and, you know. We are not doing your traditional You're turkey dinner this year. We're very firm. proud of yeah. the product that we have out there with our steaks. But, you know, Morton's Grill has a huge inventive menu that's out there that's entirely different from, you know, your typical normal steakhouse. So, you know, we've got a lot of great items that are out there. And, mm -hmm. you know, we're excited to uh, put that in front of Kansas City. And, you know, we're new here to the Country Club Plaza. You know, we're right across from the J.C. Nichols Fountain, really close to uh, Mo Park and everything like that. Yeah. And, you know. Everybody's really excited to be here, and we're excited to have people in and enjoy us. So. Now, Chef James, you said you probably would put this on, you know, on a grill or something else. But you know, if people are home and just in the kitchen, they don't have a grill and they can't go outside, this is kind of the way to go. How long do you cook it? Tell me, give me some tips here. Um, it just basically depends on how you like the steak. Um, majority of people like it about uh, mid rare to medium. So mm -hmm. at that temperature, yeah. you're going to cook it. Uh, till about 140 degrees, anywhere between 140 and 155 degrees to get it to about the temperature that you like. So we cannot wait for this to finish cooking, but we do have some prepared, finished steaks over here. So tell us, you know, this is really, I mean, from this point to this point, it took about... Uh, typically about eight or nine minutes. Eight or nine yes, minutes Yes, because only. that's going to be okay. about uh, mm -hmm. between mid-rare and medium. Mm -hmm. So that... Uh, the temperature zone there is probably about 145 degrees, 150 degrees, so it's mid-rare plus. You know what you're doing, because I'm telling you, if you all could smell the fragrance in here of this wonderful steak, it's pretty amazing. And so then you just turn it, keep turning it on the sides that are uncooked. Yes. Okay. So you get a nice sear, nice little brown topping on top, and then yeah. let it sear down on both sides, right. roll it over. And you can also finish it off in the oven. If you don't have a grill at home, yeah. so. Well, guys, definitely check it out and, and try it out. I mean, do something different. Step away from the crowd and leave the turkey in the freezer. <laughs> have some <laughs> steak instead for That's Thanksgiving. Right. That's right. Thanks so much, uh, Chef James and Brad, for coming with Morton's Grill. Thanks for having us. We'll finish this off later.